Hi, I'm Jillian Vandenacker and I will be teaching a second grade lesson on even and odd numbers. So first we're going to introduce ourselves and we're going to speak nice and loud into the camera. Okay? What's your name? Max. Zachary. Rebecca. Bree. Okay. Very good. So today we are going to determine if any number that I give you is an even or odd number based on the place value that the number is in. So the first thing we need to know is what is place value? Who can raise their hand and tell me what is place value? Three. Three, what's place value? Place value is, means the value of the number. The value of the number. So any place that the number is in. Who can tell me what is a digit? Max, what's a digit? A number. A number. Any number can be a digit. So, does the order of the numbers matter when we look at it? If I give you a number like 463, does it matter what order I put the numbers in, Zach? Yes. Why? Why does that because, matter? Because um, if you didn't enter the order, it wouldn't be the number. It wouldn't be the number, and because they wouldn't have the same values. So, we have a little kind of cheat sheet that has hundreds, tens, and ones on it. If I give you a number, such as, Brie, can you give me a number? That's in the hundreds? Sure. 122. 22. Max, can you point to the number that's in the <coughs> ones place? Good. Can you point to the number that's in the tens place? Good. And can you point to the number that's in the hundreds place? Very good. Now, if I didn't give you that cheat sheet and we had the number 203, who can tell me how many hundreds does this number have? Two. Zach. Two hundreds. How many tens does this number have? Three. Zero. Zero tens. And how many ones does this number have, Max? Three. Three ones. Very good. So, I'm going to give you a quick little assessment just to see if you know what, how to draw numbers based on their place value. So you're going to use either a ten stick for the tens or dots for the ones. Okay? So for this number, I would have, we would cross out the two because we would only be doing two digit numbers. How many ten sticks would I have here? Zero. Zero. How many dots would I have? Three. 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 So I would just have three dots. Okay? So I want you guys to pick up your pencils and do that right now. So would that one have any tens? No. No. Would it have? So how many? It has ones. It has ones. How many ones does it have? Eight. So how many dots are you going to do? Eight. Good. Good. Now does this one have any ten sticks? Yes. How many? One. Good. Can you draw a ten stick? Perfect. And then how many ones is it going to have? Two. Perfect. Good job. How many is this one going to have? How many tens? How many tens is that okay. one going to have? Two. Two. And how many ones is it going to have? Zero. Good. So you don't have to draw anything. Perfect. How about this one? How many mm. tens is that one going to have? Three. Good. And then... Good job. And the last one? Wonderful job, you guys. Give yourselves a pat on the back. That was fabulous work. You all passed place value. So now we are going to go and do number lines to figure out if we have even or odd numbers. And what I would like you to do is to make a number line from 0 to 14.
set backwards are. That's perfect. That's a beautiful three. Good. Now that we've done our numbers from 0 to 14, each person is going to get a blue marker or crayon. Okay? And what you're going to do is you are going to trace over the numbers 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14 in blue. What is that like, what we're doing? Counting by twos. We're counting by twos. So any number that you would count by twos in, you're going to trace blue. Oh. Good catch. Oh. Hang on. Zero, two, four. Oh. That's okay. It's okay. We can go over it. Four. And what would come next? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh no! That's okay, that's okay. Mm -hmm. Six. Then. Oh no. Eight. Oh my god. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Good. Oh no. That's oh okay. It, it's okay. And then what would be our last one? So who can t raise their hand and tell me what numbers they colored in blue? Becca? Even numbers. Even numbers. So we have 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, and 14. So we're going to make just a little box, and we're going to say that that is even, so that we know that blue is even numbers, okay? Can you write even next to yours? Is it E, V, E, Good. Now we're going to put the cap back on our markers and the rest of the numbers you're going to do in red. Oops. Okay, so 1, 3, 5, 7, 9, 11, and 13 are going to be in red. It's like a pattern. It is just like a pattern. That's great, Becca. So it goes even, odd, even, odd, even, odd. And we're going to do the same thing down below is where we're going to make a little red mark. We're going to put odd next to it so we know that red is odd. It's even a pattern in colors. It is even a pattern in colors. <clears throat> okay. So. Now that we have this, why do you think that the 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, why do you think those blue numbers are even numbers? Zach, why do you think those are even numbers? Because, um, then, um, there would, there would never be, like, an odd, an odd number of them. There would never be an odd number of them. Good. Bree? Um, they also have numbers that can go into them. They have numbers that can go into them. Very good. Easily. Becca? Um, they have buddies. They have buddies. That's the perfect way to put it. Is that if we have a number such as 2, 1, 2, if I put them together, there will always be a buddy and no one will ever be left out. Whereas if I have an odd number, such as 3, if I pair them up, how many is left out? One. One is left out. So it's odd. It's all alone. So three would be an odd number. Um, in order to determine if a number is even or odd, you only have to look at the ones place value. And you guys already did an awesome job determining which place was the tens place and which place was the ones place. So for example, if we had the number 14, what number would be in the ones place? Um, one. If I had a tens place and a ones place. What oh, number? four. The four. And if I look back on my chart, is four an even number or an odd number? 
Even. Even. So it's 14. Even or odd? Even. Even. Very good, Max. So what we're going to do now is we are going to play a game called Even, Steven, or Odd Top. And you get to use your number lines to help you. And before we do this, I want you to remember that, and I'll put this on the table, even numbers end in 0, 2, 4, 6, or 8, which we have on our number line. Okay? Odd numbers end in 1, 3, 5, 7, or 9. And we have a little poem to go with that. Who would like to read our poem? Becca, you want to read it for us? If you are an even number, you'll always have a pair. So if you look around, your buddy will always be there. But, if you were an odd number, there's always a lonely one. He looks around to find his buddy, but he's the only one. Yes, so that's kind of how we did with the two. They will always have buddies. But three, there's always one lonely. Okay, so that's why it's odd. Um, that, that, was actually, that was actually rhyming. It was rhyming. Yes, you are mm -hmm. very right. That's why it's a poem, because it was rhyming. Good job, good catch. Okay? So I will keep these out just so you can see them. Do you want us to put our markers down? Um, nope, we can keep the markers out. It's okay. Okay. So the rules of the game is that you will have a partner. And Max and Bree will be together and Becca and Zach will be together. And one person will be even, which is Steven. And one person will be odd, which is Todd. So what color did we use for even over um, here? Blue. Blue. Becca, what color do we use for odd? Red. Red. So if you are an odd Todd, you're going to have a red color. Okay. If you are going to be an even Steven, you're going to have a blue color. Okay? Everyone have their color? Yep. <coughs> so each partner will have a dice, and you will take turns rolling the dice. Once you roll it, you'll get a number. What number was that, Bree? Three. Three. Now, if you look at your chart, is three an even number or an odd number? Odd number. An odd number. So odd Todd would color one in. Even if it's not your turn to roll, whatever number it is, that person's going to color it in. Okay? You're not going to color three circles in. You're only going to color one circle in for each roll. Okay? Now, you roll. Six. Six. Was six an even number or an odd number? Um... Even. Even. So who would color theirs in? Me or you? Me. Good. Yeah, you would color one in. And the first person to make it to the winner's circle goes up there. Okay? So we're going to practice that. We're going to do a few rounds. We might not be able to finish the game, but that's okay. Okay? So go ahead. I'll step three. Okay, I got four. So you get to color your circle. So now you to roll. Just make a few lines. Okay, how do you roll? Two. Four again. Four. You get to color it in again. Okay. Ooh, good job, Matt. Two. I don't really count because I just I want okay. four. Two. Three. So <laughs> that's two. today. Um, I just want to go over what we learned. Who can tell me what we learned today? Raise your hand. <coughs> Bless you. Bless you. Brianna, what did we learn today? We learned that about or even and odd numbers and we learned their place values. Yes, we did. We did learn about even and odd numbers and their place value. And what place do we have to look at in a number to figure out if it's even or odd, Becca? One place. So one place. So really quick, I'm going to do a final little test. If you think the number is even, you're going to give me a thumbs up really close to you. If you think the number is odd, you're going to put a thumbs down really close to you, okay? So the first number is 71. Do you think that's even or odd? Good job! You all gave a thumbs down! Okay, the next one is 22. Would that be even or odd? 
Good work, you guys. You got it. So that is our lesson today. Thank you for sharing your time with us. And we hope that you pick Jillian Vandenacker for an interview.